Welcome to the Oklahoma City River Sport. We offer kayaking at the 66 Boathouse on Lake Overholzer and at the Chesapeake Boathouse downtown on the Oklahoma River. We'd like to thank you for joining us today. Some kayaks utilize different systems to set the seat back up. Some kayaks use a tug line in which you unlock the line like this and then tug the line to pull the seat back forward. Other kayaks use strap or webbing systems. On these, find the buckle and pull to loosen or pull the strap itself to tighten it. Make sure your seat back sets you upright and not in the reclined position. The foot pegs in your boat slide toward the bow by pushing the thumb button found about eight inches from the foot peg. To move the foot peg toward the back of the boat, simply pull with your hand or foot. When finding a comfortable spot for your foot peg, make sure your knees are bent slightly and resting against the thigh pads on the boat. Your life jacket, or your PFD, is an essential part of your equipment when you go kayaking. The first thing you want to do is take your kayak and put it in the water. Once you're seated, put two feet in the boat right in front of your seat. The next thing you want to do is reach across and grab what's called the combing around the cockpit. Next, plant your hand on the dock and slide over into the boat. Let's learn how to get out once you're finished kayaking. When you reach the dock, pull up parallel to the dock. Once you're there, put both forearms on the dock and shift your weight over on your forearms. Pull this leg up and put your weight on it. Then kick your other leg over onto the dock and roll out of the boat. Now that we know how to get in and out of the boat, let's learn how to control it while we're on the water. The first thing you want to remember about doing the forward stroke is put your paddle blade all the way in the water. The second thing to remember is if your boat starts turning as you're paddling, just adjust your strength to keep the boat straight. The third thing to remember is use your torso and your shoulders on your paddle stroke. The next thing we want to be able to do with our boat is move it backwards. When you do the reverse stroke, you want to look behind you just like when you're backing up a car. The third thing we want to be able to do with our boat is turn. For the sweep stroke, begin your stroke at the very front of the boat, as far as you can comfortably reach. Then move the paddle out in a U shape all the way to the rear of the boat. This is going to turn your boat quickly and efficiently. If you're already on the water and hear thunder or see lightning, it's time to get off make sure you get to the shore as quickly as possible. Let's go over what would happen if we experienced something unexpected. One of the things that can happen is your boat can roll over. So let's talk about what happens if your boat does tip. Now the first thing to remember is don't panic. The only thing that has changed is your activity. You were kayaking, now you're swimming, but you do want to be kayaking again. So the first thing to do is grab your boat and paddle. Next, flip your boat back right side up. Find the closest bank and swim your boat to it. When you get to shore, flip your boat back over to drain it. Remember, it doesn't have to be completely empty, just as much water as you can get out. Once you think you have enough water out, get back in your boat carefully and continue kayaking. Here are a couple of rules to remember while you're out on the water. Rule number one, swimming is not allowed on the Oklahoma River or the North Canadian River at Lake Overholzer, so please stay in your kayak. If you do turn over, Please swim your boat to the shore, dump the water out, and hop back in the kayak. Number two, life jackets are not only required by the Boathouse Foundation, but by Oklahoma City as well. So keep your life jacket on. It is important to us that you do not only have a fun experience, but a safe one too. Number three, remember, there are many other river users on the water today. Please refer to the traffic patterns chart before going out. If you can't find the chart, please find one of our customer service personnel who will be happy to help you in any way. Number four, please keep in mind that City Ordinance 38329 prohibits the possession, use, or consumption of alcohol while operating a canoe or kayak on Oklahoma City water. So please keep the adult beverages at home. We strongly encourage you to stay hydrated. So feel free to grab a soda or a water before you leave. If you do find yourself in a real emergency, such as an injury, please do not hesitate to call 911. We want to thank you for coming out and joining us today. We hope that you enjoy kayaking as much as we do. 
Remember, if you have any further questions or concerns, please feel free to address one of our many staff members.